This is an idea that Garrett Garcia gave me. He actually used PEX rings. I don't even know if this is the right size, so the first thing I gotta do is slice one off and check it. This saw doesn't have a, uh, a pneumatic feed or something to control the feed rate, so you gotta hold it by hand. The bigger saw's got a piece of metal on it, so. I don't think the length is super critical for what we're gonna do. That looks good. We can deburr it with a regular old deburring tool. This is a, you'll see this tool a lot in shops that make metal parts, but recently I saw one in the plumbing department at Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places. Not this exact tool, but I mean, basically the same tool. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. I think that ring may be just a hair too small, but we're gonna find out. Uh, won't go on. Wait, it's going. It's on. Now it may be too tight to put the barb in, but we're going to find out. Yeah, Garrett over at Gag Metalworks did this with a PEX ring. Unfortunately, I can't find any PEX, any of a pro close size PEX rings that might do the job. So I figured I'd try making my own ring. Uh, it's part way on, but it's not on far enough not to make me happy with it. Let's just try this. I don't know if that went on any further. I may wind up replacing that connector <laughs> from banging it up on this table. <laughs> well, I don't think go. that's going to work. Silicone grease on here, see if that helps it go on easier. Um, I don't think it will have it coming apart because that ring is going to crimp pretty hard if it goes on. Seems like it might be going on a little easier, at least as far as it did the first time. It went on a little further. The end of that connector hasn't mushroomed yet. See if we can work it on this way. Work it in. In, on, I guess it depends on which side your perspective is. Further. I've done this with a hose clamp before, and they've always leaked a little bit. So I was hoping that this would really just... Obviously it's easier with a hose clamp. I was hoping this would just really be the magic ticket. Hey, and I think it's all the way on. Now this is a regular PEX ring crimp tool. And I don't think it compressed that thin wall conduit enough to do the job. But I guess the thing to do is to do the other side, the other end. I'll be right back 
As soon as I cut another ring, right, we'll try both the, the other hand. side on. We've already discussed it and come up with a couple of ideas for in case this isn't en enough of a crimp on it. But we're going to go plug it into the air compressor and see if it blows apart. Alright, we're a little under 150 PSI right off the tank. And no leak. That's cool. I think I want to crimp it just a little bit tighter anyway. So we'll probably make up a shim later to put on it. But basically the idea of using a couple of little pieces of conduit like that came from Garrett over at Gag Metalworks. He used actual PEX rings to repair his, and I couldn't find any PEX rings that size in my shop. But I did have the tool, and I had some conduit. So that seems to have worked.